Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel, and this is Scott. So today, I wanted to talk about Ubiquity Unify DHCP Address Reservation Management. And this specifically applies to folks that have USGs, USG Pros, Dream Machine, Dream Machine Pro, Dream Machine Special Edition, and also the new Dream Routers. So consider assigning your static addresses all through DHCP address reservations rather than setting static addresses on individual systems. This places all address management on your Ubiquity Unify router. The advantage is one place to manage all of your statically defined addresses as opposed to individual definition on each and every host device. This has the added benefit of allowing a fixed address for hosts that have no way to set a static address, and a good example of that are certain IoT devices. So all systems on a network are defined by their Media Access Control, or MAC address for short. DHCP uses the MAC address to assign an address within your DHCP scope. Every router is different, but we're going to see how to create and manage DHCP address reservations on Unify to make sure that selected systems get the same address every time they're seen on the network. So let's go see how DHCP addresses are managed on Unify and how to manage DHCP. To see how DHCP is configured in Unify, you want to go down to your gear and go over to networks. I like using the classic interface because for now it's a little bit easier to look at these things than it is with the uh, new interface. In any event you can see that I have quite a few VLANs so each one is a separate network and in this particular case I want to focus on VLAN 80. So I'm going to edit VLAN 80 and you can see that it's a Class C network with the address of 192.168.80.1 and its address range is from 192.168.80.1 to 192.168.80.254. So there are 253 addresses in the range that are usable. The 255 address is reserved for IPv4 broadcast and the one address is reserved for my gateway back to my UDM Pro to get to other networks and the internet. So, in this particular case, my DHCP address range is set to 192.168.80.60 out to 192.168.80.254. Well, if you set up your system, whatever system you're setting up to gain a DHCP address, it will be granted an address within this particular range. However, what we're going to learn is that if you use DHCP address reservations, you can have a DHCP system select an address, and then you can go out and change that in a DHCP address reservation, and you can change the reservation to be any address, even if it is outside the DHCP range. The advantage to this is that your client can be set to DHCP but will always be assigned the same address because the router recognizes that MAC address and grants it that IP address. The other advantage is it gives us one single place to manage all of our addresses. Here we are in the main screen of the classic interface for the Unify controller on my Dream Machine Pro. So the first thing you can do is you can go over to your client screen and we can see a list of all of your clients. But from this screen, it's not particularly evident which systems have a DHCP address reservation. So you can go over to the insight screen, which is the light bulb on the left side. And this will bring you up to a screen that may have different choices on it. Right now I have switch stats here. And so I'm going to go change over to the section for client history. 
So the client history I have set now is for the last 24 hours. And if I click on the fixed IP, you'll notice that the IP address goes away. If I click on it again, we're sorting it so that all fixed IPs are at the top. So for example, here's one called my NordVPN desktop. And if I click on this particular system, it will open a window. And this window, if I go to the gear and I go down to network, you can see that I have use fixed address turned on. If you have use fixed address turned on, that means that you have a DHCP address reservation. Now, in order to forget a DHCP address reservation, you can come over here in this screen for client history and you can find a particular system with a fixed address. You can move to the right and you can click on the forget option and that will release that address back to the system. So now I'm at the command prompt for one of my hosts and I'm getting ready to create a LexD container called testing. The reason I'm doing this is I want to illustrate what happens when you create a new container on your network. And then you go back and look for it on the Unify controller. Let's find out what address this new container has by going into LexC, exec, testing, and the Bosch shell. And then let's do an if config. So this got an address on one of my VLANs, which is 192.168.80.163. Let's go see if we can find that on the Unify controller. So here we are back at the client listing. I scroll to the bottom and I find 192.168.80.163, which is my new system. Sometimes if this doesn't pop up, you may have to refresh the listing or you may have to ping the router with your um, system that you just placed online in order to have the uh, network located. If not, you can wait a while and it should pop up. So I clicked on testing there and I click on the gear and I scroll down to network. I hit the plus sign on network and then I'm going to turn on use fixed address. And at this point I can click, I can change that address to an unused address on your network or since DHCP picked address 163 for this. I'm going to turn on use fixed address and click save, which will create a DHCP address reservation for the 163 address. Now let's go verify that that address has been established. If we go up to insights and we look at the top, you can see that testing now has a fixed address. If we want to remove that fixed address for testing, we can go over here, go to the gear, we can go down to the network, we can turn it off, and we can do a save. And then we'll go in here to testing, and we're going to do a forget. And that will remove the DHCP address reservation. At least we hope it will. So you see testing is still showing up and it's still showing up with an address. I'm going to do a forget again. Oh, it says forgetting. Sometimes you get this popping up up here um, a little bit later on. And it's still trying. Okay, I'm going to try forget again. <laughs> And this is where it can sometimes be just a little bit stubborn. But as long as you've turned off the DHCP address reservation on the particular system, then it should be released. 
And there you go, you saw it finally just went away. And that that's just um, something that you may have to do more than once. But once you do not see it in this list, you know that there's no longer a DHCP ad address reservation for that particular node. So you can always enter the option for insights and look at your client history to list your DHCP address reservations. And if you sort by the IP, you'll see the fixed IP in the top. And if you scroll down through the list, you'll eventually get to a point where you will not see an address. And at this point, these nodes down here don't have fixed addresses on my network, and they also don't have DHCP address reservations. So if you're constantly making changes and you're adding and removing systems, containers, virtual machines, uh, Docker containers, and other things that get addresses on your network, or even various types of IoT that you want to have a DHCP address reservation, it's going to be very important for you to click the gear anytime you make a change, go to backup, and download a backup file. The reason for this is should you ever need to reload your network or should your Unify router ever have a problem, you want to be able to reload that configuration file and those DHCP address reservations are an important part of that configuration file. So in summary, Static addresses are required for many applications and particularly self-hosted application instances in the home lab. So it's easy and accessible to set a static address when configuring a new device or server, but I'm going to challenge you to resist that. It's best to configure DHCP address reservations because then all of your address management is in one location. If you use DHCP address reservations, it's critical to perform backups of your unified network controller anytime you add or change an address reservation. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and we'll see you next time.